Welcome to Unchained with Horatio and Lori, where we give you the news you need to know. At the top of our program, here are our stories for the week. Just a reminder that the 2020 tax return extension is now May 17th. So we have a couple of more weeks before penalties start to kick in. Yeah, that's a great reminder. Thank you. Yeah. And you speaking, yeah, just yeah. the deadline. And um, speaking about the IRS and tax returns, mm -hmm. many of us have received our stimulus checks. Yes. Right? And some of us are still <laughs> waiting, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah. So our next segment, Invest in You, I have come right. up with a couple of tips on how to spend that money. Oh, I can't wait to hear these tips. Yeah, I've got some good ones for you too. <laughs> So our first one we're going to start off with is investing in you in the way of stocks. Stocks. Mm -hmm. Great conversation for our community. It really, yeah. really is. So we're starting off with Roth IRAs. Roth IRAs are investment funds that are very similar to the 401k. The difference is, is that instead of pre-taxed money, it's post-tax money. Okay. Okay. And it's best to actually have a conversation with a financial advisor who can help you purchase these. And the next thing that I wanted to talk about is Robinhood, which is a great app for okay. buying stock. I love Robinhood. This made me Robin some good Hood. money, yes. So if you actually uh, go and go to the app, there's actually a contact number that you can actually talk to a representative that will help you set up your account as well as um, help you, advise you on how to buy stock. Not tell you what stocks to mm. buy, but help you to set up your portfolio, which I think is awesome. I didn't know they provided that mm -hmm. service. It's a great yeah. service. Wow. I love it. Then the next thing is cryptocurrency. Cryptocurrency. Have you heard of cryptocurrency? I've heard of it, but uh, never been educated on what it's all about. So. Well, cryptocurrency is um, a decentralized technology <laughs> that lets users make um, secure payments um, without going through the bank and without putting their names on it. Wow. Mm -hmm. I love okay. that part. Yes. So, so it's run through um, a distributed public ledger called blockchain. Right? Okay. And the block the blockchain is um, recorded um, transactions that are updated by the um, currency holders. Okay. Yeah. So we have segment we have a segment in um, a couple of more episodes Can't where we'll wait. be actually talking about cryptocurrency. So, Can't wait for that. Yeah, it's yeah. gonna be a great, yeah. great episode. So you guys please don't miss that. Then when we're talking about investing in yourself, listen. It's always great to invest in education for yourself and your kids, yes. right? Yes. So what we want to do is talk about setting your kids up right. and breaking generational curses. So one of the things is also looking to get them set up in their portfolio of Roth IRA. And speaking of Roth IRAs, you want to also think about their education. And if they're young kids, you want to look into the Florida 529 prepaid plan program. Yeah. I think that is such a great program. If you're keeping your kids here for college, they're staying here for college, you want to look into this program, which is so great because what you can do with this program is that you can set your savings plan now and <laughs> lock in the price for college and pay less. That's awesome. It's always a great yeah, thing, always right? Always great. So what else do we want to do about saving money, using this money and investing in ourselves? We want to look into um, changing careers, maybe, right? Okay. You might be and you might be doing that, but you don't want to actually go back to school right. and get degrees. Yeah. So there's many programs out there that you can actually go get a license for less than going back to college and getting a okay. degree. So some of the licenses that you might be looking into is an adjuster's license that you could, yes, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. that you can actually be a public or um, a general adjuster and do that and um, do life, not life insurance, but um, car insurance, sure. property appraisers, not property appraisers, but property adjuster and liability right. adjuster. It's a great program to look into. Many of the colleges, hmm. the community colleges are holding these uh, programs. And you know what's the great thing about it? For the adjuster's test, it's not a state test. If you take the class oh, and you pass the class exam, really? then you get your justice license. 
Now that is awesome. It is. That, it is that, awesome. That is awesome. Another great one, and I'm telling you, you really need to look into this. Uh, people say that the market is saturated with it. I don't think it's not. But real realtors, your realtor license. Okay. Also more more inexpensive than going to get Getting a college, college degree, degree. Yeah. and the money that I they're agree. making. Like, listen, if I wasn't sitting right here right now, I'd be doing that. <laughs> And then my final tip for investing in you is starting your own business. Starting your own business. It's always one of the greatest things to do. If you have a hobby, why not make money off of it? Something that you're very passionate about. So if you're looking to start your own business, there, um, if you go to sumbiz.org, there's actually, yeah, um, yeah there's articles as well as, as, well as the um, FAQs on how to start your business or... I found a website that you can go to and get free consultation. Free consultation. Free consultation. Go to mycorporation.com and you can actually get free consultation on okay. how to start your own business. So with all the money that you save with the investment, mm -hmm. you can get ready to celebrate. You know, we like holidays and celebrations. Yes. So let's join in with our Mexican community and celebrate Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo. Yes. I love it. You know what I love is that we have two holidays out of the years that are drinking holidays. <laughs> you would love them. I right? would. I really would. <laughs> Tell it on myself. I love St. Patty's. Oh, St. Patty, yeah. Have yes. you ever done St. Patty's in Savannah, Georgia? No, no. Oh, you, it's a must. Really? It's, I think it's the second largest celebration in the world. What, so what's different? Well, one of the things that they do is that they, they dye the entire river green. Really? Yes, and you'll love this part. What? You pay for the cup once, uh -huh. and you just go from bar to bar. Oh. Yeah, so it's like a huge celebration in Savannah, so you... Check that out. That's a little dangerous. How about next year? 2021. 2022. It's a day. Two. 2022. Yeah. Yeah. 2022. 2022. <laughs> Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo. We're doing St. Patty's 2022. <laughs> yes, we are. In Savannah, so we're good. We're good. Let's continue the celebration with celebrating extraordinary youth in our segment called Youth Corners. Horatio, who do we have for Youth Corners this week? I just did an interview with a young lady by the name of Mars Meraki. Oh, yes. An awesome young lady. The interview was wonderful. She's an up-and-coming designer, clothing designer. She's a young business person in our community. And, I mean, she was just so refreshing to have this interview mm -hmm. with, you know, to know that our young people in our community are doing some things to advance you know, the living in Jacksonville. Mm -hmm. So I just thought it was a, a, a great opportunity to talk to one of our youth in the neighborhood. Oh, wow. Yeah, so let's see the interview. Welcome back to Unchained. We're here now with our Youth Corner portion of, of the show, and we have with us today, Moss Meraki. Moss Meraki is a fashion designer, personal stylist, cosmetologist, mentor to the youth. Did I miss anything? Okay, so tell us what is Mars Meraki? Mars Meraki is a fashion business where I offer styling services. I also design. Okay, so what, what, what are some of the things that you design under Mars Meraki? Um, I design clothing for females and plan to eventually um, create tuxedos for men. Wow, tuxedos for men. Okay, so you are a cosmetologist as well, correct? Yes. So how does your cosmetology fit into your fashion? My cosmetology fits into my fashion because it allows me to be able to style my models if my stylists weren't be able to show up. Okay, so your business is pretty much self-contained. You can do it from the actual makeup and hair to the runway. Yeah. So maybe the next time we have Mars Meraki on the show, we do a fashion show here in the studio, we can see all your talents being displayed at once. Yes. Okay, nice, nice, I like that. So, I hear you also are co-owner of a mentorship business called uh, Nerdy Enterprises, is it? Yes. Okay, so tell us a little bit about Nerdy Enterprises. Nerdy Enterprises is an organization where we educate and uplift and mentor 
young girls to know that it's okay to be smart and pretty and fashionable. I like that. So, <laughs> wow, so you take young ladies that may have, I don't like to use the word low self-esteem, but not the confidence that they, you know, and they're smart, so and we know how, you know, other kids can be with, with, with smart kids. So you can be smart and pretty yeah. at the same time and be fashionable. Yeah. I like that. So I like that. So what have you um, what have you done with these young ladies to date? Uh, what type of programs do you have and things like that? We have multiple STEM programs, but one that we're working on now um, is the fashion STEM, where we'll be training and educating girls. Um, they'll be able to create, design, and plan their own fashion show. Wow. Wow, that, that, that's amazing. So, how did you, what was the defining moment? What was it, because uh, you, you, you're still at a very young age, what was it that said fashion is going to be the career that I, that I choose? Um, the fact that I can just express myself freely. I'm not in a box. I'm not following trend. I mix what I want. I like it. Um, I'm able to. Okay. In the formal training so far? No professional training, but I've been working on stitching and sewing since I was younger. Um, I've also done research, YouTube, with other sites as well. I've enrolled in multiple academies um, and earned certifications. Okay. Any plans to actually go to a, a, a university on campus one day? Yes, my dream school is SCAD. Oh. That's big. Yeah. yeah, I've heard the SCAD. So which campus? Ellen. Wow, that, that's, that's nice. So is it true, because I, I think I, I heard that once you pay your tuition with SCAD, you can go to any of the campuses? Yes, they have three campuses so far. One in Atlanta, one in Savannah, Georgia, and one in Hong Kong. So, okay, wait a minute. So you pay your tuition. If you want to go to Hong Kong, to campus, you just go, as long as you can pay your way there. That's that's nice. If any, you know, aspirations of ever going to Hong, Hong Kong and, and studying in there? Maybe the visit. Okay. <laughs> okay, nice, nice. So what is the difference between the Atlanta campus and the Savannah campus? The Atlanta campus is something that attracted me based upon me being an environmental learner. Um, I'm motivated by my environment, so the bold colors and the art that's all around um, is what really attracted me to that campus. Um, the Savannah campus has more of a historic feel and yeah. Okay, nice, nice. So what are what are some of the, the pieces that you've already designed on, under your, your label? I've designed a formal jumper um, that you can wear in three different ways. It has a cape that goes around the waist that you can take off. It has retractable sleeves. Um, I've also been working on a, a corset that I've designed and it's in progress right now. Okay. So you graduated from high school in what, uh, 2019? Yes. Okay. So You've been working on your brand the, the whole time since you graduated, correct? So how did you survive? You graduated, um, I think somewhere around 2019. So and if I'm correct, you started your business right away, right after graduating from high school, correct? So with 2020 coming and the pandemic, it had to be hard. So how did you survive through all of that? Um, I survived. 2020, um, during the pandemic, um, making masks. At first I thought that I wasn't going to be able to start my business like I planned because of the pandemic. It would help your, your, your business thrive, huh? Yes. So, and that's the thing about the pandemic, you know. 2020 was hard on, you know, the average person, but those visionaries and those dreamers, it, it really took their businesses to a whole nother level because they could make the adjustments to do what they needed to do. I understand you said that masks wasn't something that you wanted to do, but it became a necessity in your business that helped your business to thrive. 
I like that. So, what what can we look for in the future from from Kamari of Mars Maraki? In the future, in August, I plan on launching a few of my garments that I'm working on right now. So go ahead and follow me at Mars Maraki on Instagram, also on YouTube. You can follow me, subscribe to me at Part of My Sparkle. Like I said earlier, when we were before we started to uh, to shoot, you know, Gardner Minshew, this guy, his 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 fashion style is is is, is crazy with it. But I love it, you know what I'm saying? So, what if Gardner Minshew needed a personal stylist right now? How could Gardner Minshew contact Kamari to be his personal stylist? Sorry. I could be contacted at the link below. I'll be more than happy to style you, so just contact me. Nice, nice. So it's been, it's been great having you here today. Thank you for coming. We wish you all the success in the future. Again, we want you to come back because we want to see you here with your fashion show, doing the hair, and bring some of the young ladies that you work with with Nerdy Enterprises because that's what this is all about. This is about um, showing our youth that are doing amazing things. Thank you for being a part of our show today. It's been a, a honor, and we wish you all the success in the future. We're here for you if you need us. And again, we're looking forward to you coming back to doing the fashion show here in the studio. And bring some of the young ladies from Nerdy Enterprises, because this is what this show is all about. It's about uh, exposing and showing our youth that are doing amazing things. So congratulations, and thank you once again. That was a great interview. Yes, I'm sure her mother's very proud of her. Oh, and speaking <laughs> about mothers, yes. you know, it's Mother's Day That's coming right. up, right? That's so, right, next weekend, right? Yeah. Okay. So, do you know what you get in your wife? That's always a hard one for <laughs> me. Yeah, you have any ideas, any oh, suggestions? I have plenty. <laughs> So, so listen up. Okay. So you know what to get. Fellas, join me. <laughs> so I've actually looked into some of um, some vendors to get some great okay. ideas and tips for Mother's Day this year, guys. So you you can get all the help right here, right now. One of the different ways is I found a vendor who actually makes baskets. Okay. Customized, personalized baskets. Classy Couture Fashions. So if you check out Classy Couture Fashions and her website, you can call her and you can personalize these baskets for mm. your wives, significant others, your aunties, un your um, aunties, your sisters and stuff. And listen, guys, if you have a woman in your life, that's a mom you want to do this. Okay. Okay. So I agree. if your wife likes bags, coach bags, Michael Couture's, oh. like like she does those types of okay. baskets. So go to Classic Couture Fashions. The website should be below, and you can actually purchase the uh, baskets there. Also, you know, a lot of us like spa days. Spas are always nice Aren't for the ladies. Nice? Yes. Yes, yes. Yeah. So I found that a lot of the vendors here in Jacksonville and, and Orlando are giving away free. 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 I like free. Right? Or discounted spa days. So call your local vendors here in Jacksonville or Orlando and find a spa yes. for your significant other, your mom, your sister and stuff, so they can actually have a great day. It's a great treat. I so love my spa days. Hint, hint to my significant other. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just putting that out there. <laughs> and do you have, um, does your wife like alcohol? She does. She, she partakes. Partakes yeah. in the, yeah. you know, not little, too much, but just a little. little spirits every now and then. Well, I have a vendor for her. Mix Me Happy. Mix Me Happy is making little baskets. She's a uh, mixologist and a bartender. Okay. So she's actually making these different cocktails, making little baskets for Mother's Day, which I thought was really, really cool and awesome. So check out Mix Me Okay. Makes, Makes me, me happy. happy. Mm -hmm. Okay. And speaking of treats, I have one more. Uh -uh. Mm, treats by Teach. Okay, which I think is so good. Yes. It's chocolate covered strawberries and cake pops. 
cake pops. Mm -hmm. She does these great different little baskets for um, all different kinds of occasions, but she's doing a special for Mother's Day. So make sure you get your ordinance in now and not too late, okay? These are our uh, local vendors that we're supporting yes. as well. And, you know, just uh, getting ready for Mother's Day. So that's what we got. I got some yeah. great tips for you. You better go all, out there. All great suggestions. Mm -hmm. wow, like I'm going to be on the phone making some phone calls yes, and putting will. some stuff together. Yes, yes. you will. <laughs> Thank me later. <laughs> I will. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what time it is right now? What time is it now? It's time for the weather. Next, we have Regina Haywood, the founder of Nerdy Enterprises. Mm -hmm. Nerdy Enterprises focuses on STEAM, mm -hmm. which focuses on our urban youth. Okay. Yes. It is a interdisciplinary system using content that helps enhance the, the kids' academics mm -hmm. as well as their life skills. Okay. Regina is here today to introduce STEAM. I so love it. Ladies and gentlemen, Regina Haywood. Thanks for having me. I'm Regina Haywood, Nerdy Chief of Nerdy Enterprises, LLC. This summer, we will be bringing our very first STEAM camp to the urban core of Jacksonville, Florida. We've partnered with First Coast Leadership Foundation to provide six weeks of active engagement in science, technology, engineering, arts, agriculture, and math. We will be servicing 20 youths ages 5 to 14 from June 14th to July 23rd. This is a $25,000 initiative and we're still actively taking donations made directly to our nonprofit partner at First Coast Leadership Foundation. We are looking to extend this program into 15 schools and after school programs provided significant community investments. I invite you and you to follow our inaugural journey right here on Unchained. Here you go, guys. We have our first plan of action for Unchained. Yes. Regina, thank you so much for being here. Regina is our resident expert for STEAM here on Unchained. Up next is sports. Next, we have for a local spotlight, Camera, yes. a local producer, mm -hmm. Artist, just all around great guy. This interview was amazing. It really was. It was great sitting down with him. Yes, it was. Discussing the latest project. Here's Camel. On today's local spotlight, we have producer, rapper, artist, and philanthropist Camel. Camel, welcome to the show. Hey, thanks for having me. What's going on, Camel? Not much is going on. With Everything's you. good, man. Good, good. So, Camel, tell us about yourself. You're born and raised here in Jacksonville. Right? Correct. Right. I was born and raised here, you know, Jacksonville, Duval. You can see it. <laughs> Rain's Viking right here. You know? uh, I mean, I forgive you for that. Uh, there we go. Yeah. You, you know, got go. some rivalry here. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> you used to look down Winton Drive, right? And oh, just yeah. wish you could go to Reebok. And we was letting y'all pull thorns out y'all, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I played ball too. Uh, it's all good. Class 2002, <laughs> you know. <laughs> And you went to college? Yes, I went to college in Iowa okay. for business. Um, graduated in 2004. Mm -hmm. Came back down here to Jacksonville. Went to Orlando. Went to Full Sail University. Mm -hmm. Very fast-paced college. Jesus. <laughs> um, but it was fun. You know, I got to meet Babyface. He came down and talked oh, to us okay. as, a, as a group. Mm -hmm. um, met Vince McMahon over WWE. Really? Yes, they have the whole little NXT thing going down there. I was down there when they first started introducing okay. it. So it was kind of fun. Um, I met a lot of interesting people down there. Um, so, yeah. So I got into the engineering side of things and learning how to record and do things like that. I know how to make beats already, but okay. learning how to engineer and do vocals and stuff like that was my main focus. Why did you choose to be an independent artist? I chose to be an independent artist because I want all my money and not some of it. Mm -hmm. So if I really want to do a project, I have full control. I can budget how I want to budget instead of being under someone else's budget. Mm. So when I see my money and I see the bottom line, I know that I made everything that I was supposed to make. 
I know that I'll, you know, everything that I put in it, I got back out of it mm -hmm. instead of somebody else making money off of me. I like that. Knowledge, knowledge. So, I mean, I guess it's a good thing that you had to go through all the things that you went through from the education to experiences that you went, yet that you've gone through um, <clears throat> while learning the business yourself mm -hmm. um, from a practical standpoint. So it's like the, the young people that's coming up under you are going to Camel University. I like that. <laughs> practically, <laughs> practically, you know, um, you know what my guys, are, you know, yeah. I talk about the bumps in the road I hit, you know, um, this industry can be real, you know, dirty sometimes, you know, when it comes to us, you know, it's dirty to us and not just music, but other industries too, mm -hmm. um, that we don't get our fair shake or we don't get treated fairly or get the right contracts or get paid like we're supposed to be getting paid. So, like I said, it's, it pays to know the business, mm -hmm. you know, stop paying lawyers, really go read up on what you need to go do because they'll rob you too. Mm. This is true. So, you know, at the end of the day, you just got to know your stuff. If you don't, you know, picking up a book, you know, and reading everything is, is where it's at, you know. That's what I did. Once I got my computer, I went to the library, and I wanted to learn the business, you know. I didn't, and that didn't take me to college to learn that. I went into the music business to learn the music business. So that's what I did. So what are some of the, the challenges of being a, a producer? and an artist in, in North Florida. I mean, Jacksonville is a hard city. It it's is. a hard market, man. It is. So what, what are some of the challenges? I mean, Clear Channel, that's one. Um, um, enough unity. Mm -hmm. uh, that's with the, uh, the DJs, um, whether it be radio, whether it be local. I'm with DJ Coalition now, um, Fleet DJs. Mm -hmm. Really good, really good people. We have a conference every summer. Um, have a panel, different things like that to help artists, uh, DJs worldwide. Uh, don't matter where you're at, Canada, uh, okay. Mexico, wherever. You know, just, we have fleet fleet is everywhere. Nice, and, like and they're a great coalition to be a part of. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's a lot of um, I should just say it. I wouldn't say hating. I would just say you know, crap pot. Like you know, at the end of the day. We're all trying to go to the same place. You mm -hmm. know, we're right. all trying to uh, be successful in this industry. But we can't get there holding each other back. Right. You know what I mean? And we got to change that narrative. Like, if y'all can ride for joy and then all these people, why not ride for the people that's trying to do something positive to keep themselves out of jail, uh, keep themselves from somewhere? You know, it's always something negative, you know, about our community. We need to treat each other better. We need to ride with each other and, you know, Give the same customer support that you would a white person or a Chinese person or a Puerto Rican wow. person to your own people. Yeah. That's first, you know, get that same service that you would if you were working for a white individual or a, a Chinese and well, whoever the nationality is. Right. Mm -hmm. Get that same support to them. You know what I mean? Get that same support to your own people. And we'll get a lot farther. You know, we can't get nowhere if we pulling each other back. Yeah. Now that'll preach. Yeah. yeah. I also like that you were talking about the youth a lot, and it's one of your passions is just working with children. Right. Um, with that, working with the children and seeing hmm. what's going on today, what, um, what jewels can you actually hmm. give the kids now that's actually watching? What kind of jewels would you share with them right now? I would say, you know, I, I know I see a lot of things on YouTube, you know, a lot of these, uh, I got, I work with a lot of young kids, you know, I see a lot of stuff that's promoting violence, um, gang activity, mm. things of that nature. I want you, you just to really think about your future. Mm. Um, if you do something uh, in a violent way or you hurt somebody in a violent way, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Ain't no coming back from that. Um, and you got to understand, these same people who claim that they love you or they got your back and all this other stuff, you know, you going up the road, you up the road, bro. You ain't coming back. Ain't no coming back from that. Right. And that mm -hmm. person you just put in the dirt, they ain't coming back either. And they got family members that's either looking for you or trying to cause even more pain to whatever you got going on in your situation. Right. And at the end of the day, nobody wins. You know, we, we all lose in that situation. Um, and we got to stop that. You know, at the end of the day, you know, yeah, it's entertainment, but things do get real, and we see that a lot, you know, um, and it's not cool um, doing things of that nature. It's not cool, because at the end of the day, 
um, I can't define y'all level of cool because mm. I'm in a different generation. But I can say this. Really think about it. And the person that's influencing you to do these things are probably much older than you because they wouldn't do it. <laughs> wow. And at the end of the day, if they wouldn't do it, why would you go and do it? Mm. Yeah. Listen, people, I, I'm <laughs> excited to hear the music yeah. because just sitting here with you, it's like being in university. I won't say school. It's like being right in university. Universe. It's like so much food for thought. So I want to go right into the music because I'm like, if he's this strong <laughs> for an interview, <laughs> can you, you can only imagine the music yeah. here. So let's go right into your, your album. Yes. ID. ID. What does what does ID stand for? I go harder than you. Wow. So how did you come up with the name for that? Uh, a lot of people will count you out before they count you in. So mm -hmm. I go harder than you. Here's Camel performing his latest single entitled Matt. <laughs> One thing my granddad taught me, man. When she get hard, go harder. I came in the game, one of a kind They throwing shade, they see my shine Putting in work, just chasing my dreams Shoot, they hate, while well, I'm doing me I go where I want, whatever I please So say what you want, it don't bother me I did in the music, far from a scrub Shout out the fleet, they gave me a buzz Point in no return, I ain't looking back Don't be blowing up my phone if you ain't talking rats Yeah, I did it on my own, how you like that? Real niggas never quit, they just bounce back I'm just taking back they say I couldn't do it, you should see me now. I do it for my son when I make him proud. Didn't need a gun. That was such a great performance. Camel, thank you so, so much. And it was also a great show. It was an awesome show. Yes. I love this show. It was great. The whole show was great. It you was. know, we had so many call to actions in this show. Mm -hmm. So what we would like to do is to challenge you, our viewers. What is your legacy? What did you leave him behind? So follow us on our website and social media because we would really like to hear from you. Let us know what you are leaving behind. We'll see you in the next time.